Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Insaf Ali Swami, uh, working as an associate professor uh, Department of English, Kaidiya University of Engineering Sciences and Technology, Nawabsha. And uh, right now I am serving as a chairman Department of English uh, since 2018. Uh, well, uh, I belong to Kherpur Miras and uh, a far distance from Kherpur Miras to Amanpur, a very remote area of Kherpur district. Uh, and belong to a very humble family. So I did my early education from uh, Kherpur Miras and uh, then matriculation from Government Centers of Higher Secondary School Kherpur Miras and intermediate from Comprehensive Higher Secondary School Kherpur Miras. And then I did my BA in International Relations from Shapil University and simultaneously I did my Masters in English from Shapil University with distinction and I got first class, first position. Um, I, I travel from university from the beginning from the early education was not so much easy for us because uh, the village that I actually belong to uh, not having even electricity two years back. Uh, so traveling from such a humble background up to the university and doing masters and then I was offered as a position of lecturer in Shavuot University. Department of English and I worked from 2005-2008 as a lecturer in English over there and then I moved towards Kaidiyam University in 2008 and serving as a chairman Department of English and with so many efforts I have tried to establish this department and I am serving right now as a founding chairman of Department of English over here. Uh, well, uh, what I believe is uh, this journey seems to be a talk of only one to two minutes, but it has required a lot of years and years of struggle from very childhood up to the university education. Everybody fails, fails the hardships, but so far my case is a little bit different uh, where we were having not facility in village of education, then we shifted to Kherpur. My brother was having a job into a scar up and then we shifted over there. My brother uh, enrolled me into a primary school there, then intermediate, then uh, university, and finally we succeed. And right now serving and teaching is uh, English and doing a research. Later on I won a scholarship uh, from Higher Education Commission of Pakistan in 2013 and I completed my PhD in 2000. Um, 16 from Malaysia and returned back over here in the Queens, Nawabsha. Uh, well, uh, everybody faced the difficulties. There is a, some constant motivation and a specific goal that individual have to follow. So is case with us. Uh, because we were two brothers, we enrolled uh, in same school, in same class. And then our father was actually uh, not having a job from very early. He was unemployed but having some some acres of land and jo zameen thi wo jo usse jo kuch bhi aata tha wo padhai pe invest karte the. Hame chhe bhaiyon ko padhaya, do bhai ko saath enroll kiya ek ek school mein. And but he said that I have nothing to give except the education. So this was the motivation that our father only invested on us and then we have not given too much burden to our parents. Then we started having the, from the very beginning, so started teaching the kids and earning some amount. Started a tuition center at home from all the neighbors' children that come in and they were paying somewhat at that time. Uh, it was, uh, for me, it was enough to survive and to have the expenditure. So learning and earning, they remain parallel in my life. Uh, that's why I could succeed. Otherwise, I would not being uh, so went to a different kind of uh, private schools. All my education is from the uh, yellow schools, uh, government schools, where children go and being taught. Even um, though people criticize a lot to the government, but still uh, the facilities on that schools, even right now, the infrastructure, the playgrounds, the atmosphere is fine so far. Uh, the process of teaching and learning has been a bit disturbed, but 
so far still it, these schools are contributing a lot and we see our role models are from these schools. Yeah. This, this is actually a very common question, even it, it, it question emerged from our students who are teaching into university in and other universities. Uh, the problem is actually of uh, improving a language skills, particularly spoken English is. There are some few, few very general things that the students have to follow for improving it. For example, uh, the speaking is directly proportional to the listening. If you listen uh, good speakers, then your speaking skill will automatically be improved. Uh, number two, that uh, you, sh you must advance, an individual must advance his vocabulary. He should go and see and follow the pronunciation of uh, native speakers, listening BBC, CNN, English programs, English movies, and listening the lectures of teachers and art in part, part perspective of the content but for the language and follow their pronunciation. We suggest the students that make few teachers whose English is very good as a role model and try to follow them. One thing more I would say in this context, uh, a thirsty of a knowledge particularly improving a pronunciation and uh, English skills, one should have a good dictionary with them all the time because uh, that that is a source of uh, uh, all kind of a learning because one can learn a pronunciation from it, one can learn a spelling from that dictionary. So you only need to open it, look at the page and you see all, all things are over there. So listening good teachers, following movies and English channels, CNN, BBC and having a good dictionary with you. This commonly we suggest to students for improving their communication skills, particularly spoken skills.